I'm all about confidence, hard work, being an athlete. It's about knowing the rewards. Knowing that I have the talent and a gift and that I can share it and show people what I can do. My name is Polina Edmonds. I'm a full-time student and I've represented Team USA for figure skating at the Olympic Games. Skating is very, very hard. Um, it's very tedious. I have to do the same routine five days a week. All year, basically since I was a very young girl, um, it's it's really hard and it's very taxing. Your sarcasm is unappreciated. <laughs> she was four years old when I first met her. Um, she was a, a young little skater at the rink here in San Jose, and her mom had asked me uh, to work with her daughter and to give her daughter skating lessons. And uh, when I first saw her, you could tell right away that she had potential, and she had a strong commitment uh, from herself and from her family. One sharp up. My earliest memories of Paulina is way back she was this cute little thing i remember she had this nose on it and she was skating to an artistic to pinocchio she, she was amazing my mom grew up in russia and she had always loved figure skating and wanted to be a figure skater so she went to college and learned from the top coaches in russia and when she met my dad and moved to the states with him she continued to teach skating apparently the story is that I took my older brother's skates at home and put them on my feet. At 19 months, she decided, okay, I guess it's time to put you on the ice. To be a very good skater, you need to be, have uh, a very good abilities to learn. I would say it's uh, very first things and you have champion mind. Good, nice. <laughs> nice. I performed pretty strong in Sochi, I would say. It was definitely two of my best performances. It was a different experience for me because there was so much media and there was so many cameras everywhere. So it was very, very fun for me to be in that situation because I was like, oh, like here I am just like the other skaters that I've always watched on TV. Now I'm on TV. And now all my friends in my school and my rink and everyone in San Jose is watching me and then Everyone in the States are watching me. Everyone in the world's watching me. And so I skated very strong in the short and I skated very strong in the long as well. I made one mistake, but aside from that, I did my best and I definitely have no regrets. I'm currently studying as a student at Santa Clara University here in San Jose where I've grown up. I'm a communications major, so I'm studying communications and basically how people um, interact with each other in society today. And maybe we can start with Polina if you want to share your example. So I went to... Polina's a great student. It's wonderful having her in the class. I very much appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, despite having a busy schedule as a sports person and these commitments, she keeps up with her work. She's not missed any classes. She's not been late with any assignments. Uh, she seems to be doing the reading in terms of her responses. So she's really balancing her, these two worlds, if I may say very well, and really productively uh, bringing them into conversation with each other. That's an excellent point. And I think what it... Uh, this is a class called Acting for Non-Majors. And it's for people who are interested in theater, who may have had some experience in theater, or may have had none. Pauline is focused. She is diligent. Uh, she's committed. Um, she has a willingness to play. It's a feat to be able to pull that off, and she's doing really well at that. Freeze! My social life is definitely important to me, especially now that I'm in college and um, I am making lifelong friendships now. Really Just being around different people, it's 
it's very nice and um, it's probably one of my favorite parts of school. Yeah, it's probably we were talking in the little group. Find you, <laughs> it's on my Insta story. But. Colleen is always on her phone because she has to keep up on her social media. And I think she uh, really focuses on giving her followers like uh, just a full view of her life, not just um, the ice skating. If we go to the beach, she makes sure to like post a picture at the beach. What should we caption the photo of us? She makes time for her friends and she makes time for figure skating and she makes time for sorority. I share it on my Facebook and my Twitter. You'd never think that she's an Olympic figure skater because she always makes time to be a good friend, which I think is very cool. Posted. I have a very packed schedule because I have to fit my studies in with my skating. There's a lot that goes into my day, but then again, there's always been a lot that go goes into my day since I was very young. Skating is, it's a huge part of my life, but I don't want it to overtake my life because I don't want to be so absorbed in skating that it's all I, that I think about. Ballet has been very important to my skating because I transfer that lyrical and those gentle arms into my skating. That's basically what makes me look like a dancer on the ice. Ice skating and ballet go hand in hand. For Polina, what I usually work with her is the epaule moth that ballet is so amazing with. Shoulders back, shoulders back. She does a fantastic job. Uh, in, in our classes, and I'd love to see her put it toward her skating. Eyes go through the hand. Yes. And first. Good. <laughs> Good. My mom is there to be the eyes that I don't have, essentially. I can't see myself skating. I feel myself skating. Um, she's brutally honest with how I look and what I'm doing. It's still difficult training with my mom just because of the mother-daughter relationship that we have. It's, it's always hard if your parents your coach, but at the same time, it's just the greatest blessing and um, there's definitely no way I would be where I am if my mom wasn't my coach. I think it's very hard to be mother uh, and uh, be coach at the same time, but uh, like mother, I am really amazed and like coach, I'm amazed what we did with her and I, sometimes I'm not believing that she's my daughter. At the Olympics, I'm going to be focused and putting my all out there. It's just going to be very hectic and very high pressure, but this is what I've been training for for the last four years. Even though it can be kind of frightening, it's so much more exciting and I'm just so ready to get to go through it all again.